Alright, so today we finally see a correction with the SPY, QQQ and many other stocks materializing bearish signals. Now, with this movement, some questions emerge such as, is this reaction enough to trigger a correction ahead? If so, what can we expect next? So in today's video, we're gonna work through some scenarios using technical analysis and statistics to base our ideas on. Welcome to the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan. It's a pleasure to see you guys over here. And uh, yes, today's reaction is quite strong. The SPY is materializing a very solid bearish candlestick today, completely rejecting yesterday's bullish candlestick pattern, suggesting that this is a classic top signal, which could trigger a correction ahead. The QQQ also also materializes a bearish reaction, but in this case over here, it is way more intense because, because it is not only rejecting yesterday's candle, but we are still below the all-time high, near the $500, and we are losing the $493, the previous top level over here, which failed in working as a support level for us today. Therefore, it is suggesting that the QQQ could correct to lower levels. Our next technical targets on SPY and the QQQ are the 21-day EMA, the exponential moving average on the daily chart over here. The SPY also has a 21-day EMA below the price acting as a future support level. And uh, however, on SPY's case over here, we see another technical support level, the 574, the previous top level over here. And uh, however, if you, if you guys ask me, such bearish reaction today has a very nice timing because if we project if we project the height of this congestion in the direction of this breakout we see that spy materialized a top signal right below our technical target Therefore, it is a classic bearish reaction under a technical resistance level. I did share this technical target on the 5% projects channel, so if you have any interest in joining us, just take a look at our website, link in the video's description. But uh, so far, this reaction over here seems to be, seems to be a classic, a classic bearish engulfing candlestick pattern, which is a relatively a reliable bearish reversal candlestick pattern because it acts as a reversal roughly 79% of the time according to Bukowski's studies. And of course, the QQQ is also materializing another bearish engulfing candlestick pattern over here. And remember, this candlestick reverses the trend 79% of the time if, if certain conditions are met. And of course, I teach you how to trade this candlestick pattern and many others in our ebook on technical analysis, which is available to the members of the 5% project, our educational project that you can try out for free and download our exclusive ebook on technical analysis for free as well, which will be yours forever, completely free of charge. Many, many of the little secrets to trading candlestick patterns and chart patterns are there. Little secrets that can boost your performance and increase the win ratio of your trades. So just check out our website for more information, link in this video's description. Now, how this is gonna affect our stocks? Because we see a quite reliable bearish candlestick pattern over here on the SPY and on the QQQ. However, they are still bullish, all right? The trend is still bullish. So any pullback to our support levels could be just another buying opportunity. How this is gonna affect Nvidia, for instance? Nvidia is also materializing a bearish reaction below the all-time high. We broke the 136 yesterday, but uh, today we once again failed in breaking this key point and uh, right now we are correcting sharply. However, it seems we just reached our next technical target around 130, the previous top level over here now acting as a support level for us. Another example of the principle of polarity in technical analysis. Previous top levels are going to work as future support levels and vice versa. Therefore, it is a very technical movement, but uh, if the indices continue to drop, 
if their bearish signals actually work and we see a sharper correction ahead, we still have more downside for Nvidia and other stocks over here. And in this scenario, Nvidia could easily retest the 21 day EMA in the next few days. Tesla, conversely, Tesla is, is going up today, right? Tesla being Tesla again, right? We are going up 0.04%, not that much, but it is still stabilizing its price after the collapse, uh, thanks to RoboTaxi, by the way. So this movement over here is just a signal of stabilization. It is too soon to tell if Tesla will actually reverse from here, we'll, we'll actually bounce from, from here. But if we lose the 21 week EMA over here, which is acting as a support level for us, then nothing will prevent Tesla from retesting lower levels like the $200 or even the 182 down here, which is our next technical target on the weekly chart. So it is a critical moment for Tesla. It feels like it is now or never. Only if we see a very meaningful, powerful, bullish reaction on the daily chart, we could avoid a sharper correction over here on the weekly chart. And again, the timing for a, bull for a bullish reaction is just perfect because we are right above the 21 week EMA, a technical support level that is acting as a support level again for Tesla's price. So right now, if, if you want to see Tesla being bullish again, we got to see a quite powerful bullish reaction as soon as possible over here on the daily chart. All right. Meanwhile, we see AMD. AMD, <laughs> this one is just collapsing. It is losing our support level at the 21 day EMA. We are also trying to lose our next technical support level, the $158 down here, the previous bottom level over here. By losing this bottom level, then AMD, along with the 21 day EMA, AMD will officially enter bearish territory again, suggesting a sharper correction to even lower levels. Our next technical support level is $148.01. All right, this is going to be our next technical target. It is quite frustrating to see such reaction on, a, on AMD because we failed by just a few cents on closing this gap over here. 174.53. Uh, October 9th high was 174.5 cents. All right. So we were very, very close to close this gap over here. So it is quite frustrating to see such bearish reaction. But uh, if you ask me, there is still time for a reaction. But uh, right now, we don't see any bottom signal. There is not a single bullish reaction that could frustrate this bearish candlestick pattern over here yet. Unless if we see a very miraculous reaction on the SPY, on the QQQ again, frustrating the idea of a bearish engulfing candlestick pattern on the daily chart, because there is still, I know, guys, I know, if certain, if certain conditions are met, we have literally 79% chances of actually triggering a sharper correction. However, if we see a very, very good, meaningful, bullish reaction like tomorrow or in the next few days on the SPY, QQQ, we could, we still could reject this bearish reaction over here, this bearish technical candlestick pattern over here, all right? In this scenario, we could see many other stocks reacting above their support levels, like Nvidia, like Tesla, like AMD over here, avoiding, avoiding the breakout of the 158. So there is still time for a reaction. If you ask me, in my humble opinion, I would like to see a sharper correction ahead. Because if we see a sharper correction, this means more possibilities, more buying opportunities if we see the indices, if we see more stocks approaching their support levels. It feels to me that many stocks are quite far away from their support levels, like Palantir, for instance. Palantir is another, is a very good one. It is another stock that is on my radar, but uh, we got to see 
a pullback first. If we see Palantir approaching the 21 day EMA, approaching the $38 again, that would be just fantastic. Any bottom signal in this area could be just another buying opportunity because the trend is still bullish. Oh, but Nathan, what if, what if we lose these support levels over here? then Palantir will reverse the trend. Then, all right, we can work with short positions. But right now, as long as the trend remains bullish, we got to work with long positions. This is how I have been surviving in this game for more than 10 years, by the way, always working, always working with patience, always working strategically, using technical analysis, always knowing where my target is, my stop loss is, before I place the trade. Therefore, we got to work with intelligence in this scenario. So let's see if a pullback will actually materialize or not. Meanwhile, SoFi Technology is one of your favorite stocks. You guys always ask me to analyze this one. And uh, more often than not, I forget about it. <laughs> but uh, right now, right now we see SoFi going up roughly 1%. It did a very nice bullish movement over here this morning, but uh, right now it is losing momentum. Could this be a top signal? Yes, it could. In fact, this candlestick over here could be a possible gravestone doji candlestick pattern or even, or even a shooting star candlestick pattern. Either way, they are both bearish candlestick pattern suggesting a possible pullback what if we see pullback next nathan if we see pullback then nine dollars and 18 cents will be our next technical support level what if we lose the support level the 21 day ema which is right now close to the eight dollars and 53 cents will be our next technical support area all right right now right now if you ask me we just hit the $10.49 resistance level, the previous top level from December last year. So seeing a top signal below this resistance level is not surprising at all. Is this a good moment to buy? Of course not. We are near a resistance level. Buy near support levels, sell near resistance level. If we see a pullback to the $9 or to the $8 again, fantastic. Maybe it will present another buying opportunity. But right now, right now, this stock requires a lot, a lot of caution because we are making a top signal below a very important resistance level. Micron is materializing a very sharp bearish reaction. We are still above the 21 day EMA. We are trying to maintain the bullish bias. But uh, if we lose, if you ask me, if we lose this candle's low, the candlestick from October 10, which to me was an ignition bar. If we lose this candlestick low over here, which is very close to the 21 day EMA, by the way, it is done, all right? Micron will probably correct to lower levels, maybe to close this gap over here around $96.18. So this is it, all right? It is a very simple situation. If we lose, we lose. If this one works out, if this one reacts above our support area, fantastic. As far as I know, Micron has a technical, a technical double bottom chart pattern on the weekly chart. By breaking the 111 over here, we could materialize another very nice recovery to the 145 again. But uh, so far, we got to see a better decent reaction. Now, another alarming signal, speaking of weekly chart, another alarming signal is that on the weekly chart, we got to see the SPY avoiding a classic top signal over here because if we see a top signal on the weekly chart on the SPY, we could trigger a pullback on the long term, a long term pullback that could last a few weeks over here, all the way back to the 565 or maybe even the 21 week EMA if the SPY actually loses its double support area over here around 574 and the 21 day EMA. The QQQ is also trying to materialize a bearish reaction, suggesting a sharper correction on the weekly chart. Of course, the weekly candle is not closed yet. We are still, today is still Tuesday, right? <laughs> I, I, I almost forgot. Today is Tuesday, all right? So 
so there is still time for a reaction if you ask me on the daily chart in order to avoid a, mater a materialization of a top signal on the weekly chart which could be very very dangerous so for now let's pay attention on our key support and resistance levels i'm gonna keep you guys updated every single day on this channel therefore if you are still watching this video and you're not a subscriber consider subscribing for daily unbiased analysis for more trading strategies so subscribe Click the like button to support me as well and take a look at the 5% project. It is free to try. You can download a free ebook on technical analysis where I teach you guys everything, everything you need to know in order to trade well. Just take a look at our website. Link in the video's description. See you guys tomorrow. Stay safe. Bye bye.